Kathy Spears again from Shiloh Dairy. Welcome to the spring edition of Starting Strong. I'm sure it has not escaped anyone's notice that we have some very unpredictable spring weather right now. And that certainly comes with a tremendous amount of challenge in keeping calves healthy. So today we're going to discuss some of the challenges that we have faced, how we have dealt with them, and hopefully then give you some assistance in dealing with your spring calf challenges as well. We find, first of all, it's, we, we're trying to keep them dry and warm, so it's so important to make sure that they're well bedded. We're still using straw because it's, although we have had some 80 degree weather, we also have been down to freezing, so it's still not time to switch to our summer sand. So we're still using straw to make sure the calves are warm and dry, and of course when it's raining that just requires that much more bedding, and that's, it's time consuming and expensive, but it really is important and critical even to keep the calves warm and dry when it's so wet and cold outside. Uh, the next thing is um, to watch for signs of pneumonia, which with this, again, this crazy humid weather, it's so challenging to their little lungs. Um, so we check each calf every day, listening for a cough, watching for a, a snotty, runny nose, um, even scours. You would think perhaps that the, the calf was scoured because she's got a loose manure, but that's also a sign of, of, of upper, upper respiratory disease. Um, especially when they get to be kind of, you know, four to six weeks of age, if they're scoured, it's probably not digestive, it's most likely respiratory, and we find then that we'll, we take their temperature, sure enough, they have a high enough fever that indicates they've picked up a respiratory bug and we'll treat them for pneumonia. Pneumonia really is such a critical disease to watch for, and they can lose weight and lose condition, and of course, the, the great fear of permanent lung damage uh, from undiagnosed respiratory disease. Of course, scours is always a, a childhood problem with, with baby calves. Um, of, of course, uh, make sure they stay hydrated um, and can, they can be treated. There are any number of treatments that you can consult with your veterinarian to, to find the best treatment for you. Um, we do feed a, a, an electrolyte supplement by bottle. Any calf that has been identified with scours or, or you know a little bit of diarrhea, we do supplement them with a, a bottle of water um, just to make sure that they've drank it. We could put it in the pail, but there's no assurance they'll drink it, especially when they're not feeling well, but they always love to have a bottle. So we hope to see you again soon. Thank you for watching.